back in 2003, I started cleaning up my uh, diet. I used to eat a standard American diet. Now, the first food I ever cut out of my diet was soda, if you could believe it. Uh, I used to drink a lot of Coke. Um, two, three, four liters a day. And um, at the time, Zevia soda didn't exist, obviously. And uh, I was... Uh, going to college part-time and there was a girl in class that I liked and I went home and I decided you know it'd be interesting to try to get rid of the soda see if I'll lose some weight see if I'll enjoy the new life and uh, I drank some water instead and I, the first day I realized oh my god I could go the rest of my life without soda it was that easy and I have gone another well more than half of my lifetime up until this point without uh, soda. I celebrated the halfway point of just recently actually where I've gone half of my life without soda. This was uh, during the quarantine when I celebrated it. I gotta calculate what day it is. Um, but it was so easy. The hard part was getting people to accept that I wasn't drinking soda. That was the hardest part about quitting soda if you can believe it. And even to this day, oftentimes the life-changing Lifestyle was the easy thing. The hard part is getting everybody else to accept it, right? Moving to the Rocky Mountains, moving to Phoenix now was easy. Getting people in Seattle or getting people here in Phoenix to accept it is often the hard part of it. I've since discovered that being single is very easy. Finding acceptance for being single, very hard, right? That's very unfortunate. We, we don't live in, uh, in isolation. And the problem is that I can accept being not accepted. The hard part is when it starts to affect your career or of your standing in, in, in social uh, circles. That's the hard part. That's the unfortunate thing.